Hey Charles, I'm with you at the Bob Factory. This is our sixty nine tour. Me and my dad have been working on for two years. Yep, been a two year project. And for the pictures, uh, I figure out we'll, we'll make this video and put it on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel that we've been documenting everything. Yep. But basically, this is our shop we've been working in. Um, some of the spare parts over there, I'll show you here in a second. The hood. But first, since I got these out, these are the 2016 seats that I purchased. They just need cleaned up, but they're in great condition. No issues, no rips, no nothing. Um, they do have airbags in the side, but I talked to David. I don't really care to have those hooked up. All I would like to have is just maybe the motion move on them. Um, it's got the tracks with them, as you can see here, uh, but they're in great condition. They do have seat belts because that's on the list of stuff I need is seat belts. Um, but they're in great condition. So coming over here to the car, um, we sent the car out last year to get painted. The guy who did the paint also did a body work. There was a few spots. This car, for the most part, didn't have any rust. Were you grabbing the key, What? Right there with the keys to the Camaro. The keys. Oh, right here. Hanging up on the, the purple. So anyways, the, um, the car did have a few spots, but overall it was really solid. There wasn't a lot of rust. Um, so it doesn't need any body work at all. Uh, after the paint, we did put the trunk latch in there. Just gotta figure out what key it is. Either one of those. Oh, here it is. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, well, I'm trying to get it open. Yep, there we go. So here's the inside. We've got the carpet just sitting in there, kind of. I installed the new rear latch, I guess. But this is all original. Like I said, the car overall was really solid. It didn't have, you know, there's some old harness, wiring harness. Um, any rust spots? You got the seal put back in there. But um, I'll send some pictures too. Here's the original chrome bumper. It's not perfect in the original lights. Um, the chrome is okay, I can live with it. Uh, underneath here's the new American powertrain rear end. It's a 3.3 gear ratio. And then also we got new leafs with it and then new shock absorbers. So all that entire thing is all new. Um, the gas tank is over here. Um, and I sent this in the email. There's the uh, pump for the tank, um, the tank holders. This this box here is the actual tank itself. Um, and then of course some other miscellaneous hoses, hose ends, everything needed for the high pressure system. There's the top of the tank right there. Um, and then this is the fuel, fuel sensor. So, Got the whole kit ready. Um, that was the original pan. Had to take that off because it wouldn't fit. We had to go to a Holly narrow pan, which I guess is pretty common. Here's the headers for the LT1 engine. So I'll be bringing that down. They're off because I'm not sure they'll fit after everything else goes back on. Um, <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So moving back along to the car. Um, here's what I was talking about. Uh, you can see he just put a film on there. That's just a sticker. I'm trying to see if I can capture that. So I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping that would be painted in. So that might be something that maybe we can uh, discuss depending on where we fall on the budget. But when the car came back, I mean, he did a pretty good job on the paint overall. So again, no body work needs done to the car at all. Um, got the new chrome pieces back on the door, the uh, rear mirror, uh, the windows we put back in, um, front windshield we got installed with all the chrome pieces back on it. The uh, inside here, you can see, we don't have anything on the inside. I started to run the, the rubber molding and you can see it kind of up here. Uh, but as far as 
the dash, you can see we're bare naked here. And then again, he put a coating on, when he painted it, he put a coating on the bottom of the, the, the floor of the car. But overall, he didn't have to replace any panels. It's in pretty good condition. Um, I had just cut that out to bring it through. There was four bolts here that had to be bolted up and then you could put the boot on. You can kind of see where it comes through. Those are some more seals for the rubber uh, TMI headliner. I started the headliner and you can kind of see it a little bit. There's a new lamp. Um, there's the chrome pieces to hold the rear view mirrors, but I stopped just because it was kind of tedious um, and, and don't really have time, but that's pretty much the, the inside. Uh, no electrical drive. There's the firewall. Um, <laughs> so there's the old AC that will probably have to come out. AC controls. No, it didn't have AC. Those are the old. Uh, maybe it did. I don't know. Anyways, um, car is original. I ran the tags. It's got the cow plate on it. There's the cow plate with all the information. I researched it. Uh, but moving along, we come to the front here. We've got the new, uh, well, before we go over the engine, it's got the new subframe on it. It's a height subframe. It's called Pro-G subframe. I watched a video where they put this on a 69 Camaro. Supposedly it's the best out there for anything over 400 horsepower. Um, it does come with the whole assembly here, the suspension, uh, the actual disc brakes, which is pretty nice and allowed the original Kragers to go right back on, which I love that look. It took me a little bit of time. It comes with the mount for the engine mount for an LT1. And again, this is the LT1 that came out of a 2016 Camaro. Um, it, there was a video on YouTube of Ram Fine. The company that took it out was a really good company. Um, I've got the gas pedal for this. I've got all the top components over here. That's the old wiring. This is all the new wiring. Uh, this is, what was this? Oh, this was a mounting tray for the ECM. I do have the ECM. Here's all the beauty plates or cover plates, whatever they call them. There's the gas pedal. So that's all the stuff for the engine that I took off. Uh, again, a couple more pieces that are painted, ready to go back on. Front fenders are over here. Um, like I said, just they're completely ready to go. There's uh, the bottom fender, the two corners that connect to that. Um, here's the original piece for the headlights. I believe that's what that is in the trunk opener. Um, he painted that. Here's the other side. It's already got all the pieces put on. So it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, windshield wiper pump. I'll be bringing that, but I don't know if it works, to be honest. Here is the floor mat, brand new. I just took it out for the inside of the car. Uh, here is the uh, front piece and front bumper. So I'll be bringing that. I have a new battery with it. Um, that's the chrome piece. Uh, I'll bring all the original headlights, but I think we're going to need new lights. <laughs> anyway, so back to the car. Um, as you can see, here's the other side. Here, front windshield. Put the mirror on this side. Didn't have a mirror, but we put it on anyways. Um, again, all the windows are done. Open it up here. And we just need all the inside pretty much completed. I'd like to do something cool with the dash, something new, something different, but that's why I'm hoping you guys have some ideas. That, the stick shift top, that's just the finished top. It's, I just set it on there. Um, the bolts and stuff are there and there's the boot for it. Um, we'll need some kind of fancy console piece here, but again, that's something that maybe you guys can help us with. Uh, moving along to the back, again, the rear Kragers. We put the trim pieces back on. This used to be chrome. I was wanting to take and buff that down to where the chrome came out. He painted over it. 
but I, I'd like to get the chrome back, but I was afraid to buff it down. It actually goes all the way along here. And I think down here too, but he just painted it over. So, um, again, rear bumper stock. Let me get on my little cart here and we'll take a look underneath the car. Uh, too old to do that anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. So when we come underneath here, um, I'll try to capture it here. Here's the cross member. This is what I was talking about here. I temporarily have it kind of rigged up with these bolts. Um, and one bolt in the bottom of the cross member, or sorry, the transmission, but it's not really the way it was designed. But I've reached out, there's a company called uh, Three Pedals who actually works with heights on these type of uh, cross members and they're designing one, but I figured you guys could probably just fab something. And then here, coming back over to this side, we put the frame connector. So with the amount of horsepower, I figured it'd probably be a little bit safe just to put these on. So there, there's where the frame stops and then it comes down all the way through and buttons into the back here. You can see it right here. And then again, we got brand new leaves. There's the rear end. We just need a drive shaft connected from that that make sure our angles are properly aligned which i know you guys probably know of that so that's pretty much it i'm gonna get some pictures and i don't think there's anything i didn't capture why is there any oh yeah there is so i'll be bringing down a couple of these things here some of the notes uh that rear end has some instructions to it uh that i kept separate um, let me see here. Yeah, this is for the rear end. It's got a break-in procedure because it's brand new. Um, here are all the, uh, spark plug cylinders. Spark plug ignition coils, sorry. Um, and then again, here's the headers over here. The two sets of headers. I'll be bringing those down with me too. I think I already covered that. And then, did I already go over all this with the gas tank? I don't think so. So here's the entire tank system, fuel tank. Uh, that, that big box is the actual fuel tank itself. There's the one of the fuel pumps. It's got a sensor, injector. Uh, it's got other connectors and hose lines as well. And they're ready to go. So I got some Dynamat. I can bring it. We don't need to put it on. Oh, there's the straps to hold it up the fuel tank and then of course the uh it comes with rubber strips so there's no squeaking um i think <coughs> i think that's pretty much it so we'll take some pictures and put this up for you guys you got anything to say uh no looking forward to meeting them yeah all right guys we appreciate it thanks bye